Hey everybody, my name is Brianna Sorensen and I am here today with Navy Squash rising senior Jack Lentz who is right now in Bancroft Hall. So Jack, first tell me a little bit why you are now back in Bancroft. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're here for a uh, two week ROM quarantine uh, before I head down to Leatherneck this Sunday, which is in uh, Quantico, Virginia, to do a training for three weeks with Marine Corps. Okay, but how excited are you to go over to Leatherneck? I'm excited. I'm excited to get out of quarantine first and then uh, to kind of see more people engage with a smaller squad and uh, kind of get after it uh, in Quantico, Virginia. Definitely. But Overall, how have you been these last few months? I know it's been a crazy last few months, a lot of unexpected turns, but tell me how have you been holding up? <laughs> no, I can't complain. Uh, my family's been really healthy, which has been great. Uh, I got to spend a lot of time with my new puppy, uh, who's about one now. So just new puppy, what kind him. of puppy? <laughs> He's a uh, red lab. So cute. cute, that's awesome. Yeah. So you got a and lot then, of family time in. A lot of family time, a lot of my mom's cooking, so I've kind of run those pounds off, which has been good. Um, but yeah, it, it was, I can't complain. That's awesome. Good. Speaking of running those pounds off, how have you been trying to like stay in shape during that time when you were back at home? Yeah, it was definitely tough at first, embracing a new environment. Uh, you're so used to working out here, especially being on a court here, uh, going home, not having any courts to play with, not being able to play squash. It was tough. Uh, my team put together uh, a couple of challenges for each other, and we've been, you know, sticking to that those plans and challenging each other. Uh, we did a 48 miles in 48 hours challenge to raise awareness for sexual assault in the military, which was great, and kept us fit at the same time. So it, it's been it's been a challenge, but we've been uh, adapting well. That's awesome. Now, you've had an incredible career leading up to your senior season. You've gone a 55 and 24 record, which is only three wins away from getting into that all time top 25 at Navy. So I have to know, leading into this next season, what are you most excited about? Uh, you know, last season, we had, I ended on a really high note. I went undefeated uh, team nationals. Uh, fell a couple spots short of All-American. And going into this season, you know, I've been really excited for, you know, hitting those new benchmarks of trying to get All-American. But, you know, with COVID coming, I just can't wait to get back and forth with the guys. It just feels like it's been forever. So that's what I'm really excited for. Yeah, and last season, you had your first intercollegiate squash doubles national championship. So just tell me, what was that experience like for you? It felt like that championship was a long time coming. Uh, my freshman and sophomore year, I finished second to two great teams. And this year, Micah Sergis, who was my partner and our last year's team captain, we kind of went in and... Although we had a lot of fun, we weren't going to come home with anything short than the championship, and we knew that. So we were really excited to just go out there and, uh, you know, handle business in a way. And uh, as the experience went on, you know, we just got more and more, you know, motivated to accomplish the goal. So you are, and you are easily one of the best squash players in the whole nation. So what has it been like over the years playing such high caliber of talent? Uh, I really enjoy the sport and I know I have a lot of work to do to get better and better, but, uh, at the end of the day, that that's really what it's about. And as a lot of people say, iron sharpens iron. So the better I am, the better the team's going to be. And the further we can progress in hitting our goals. Now I have to know with senior season, you're also going to be team captain. So congratulations on that. But what are you excited about for taking on this new leadership role as team captain this upcoming season? I'm really excited to take on the challenge. Um, we have a great group of guys and, you know, I think the biggest challenge is going to be adapting to the new environment we're in. We don't know what the season's going to look like, when it's going to start, who's going to be, you know, playing in college squash next year. And I think realizing it and seeing it as a, 
an opportunity rather than a deficit and seeing that, hey, we have all this time right now to honestly get better and get ahead uh, where usually we're jam-packed with military obligations, summer trainings, and right now we're, we're a little bit more free to you know, get ahead and make those jumps, make those leaps uh, to where we want to be. And I'm really excited for this season, really excited to see where the guys move to next and see what goals we can hit next season. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today, Jack. And we can't wait to see what you're going to bring this upcoming season. Yeah, thank you so much. Watch, it's been great being here.